Good morning. Pastor Tim here, wanting to share with you some of the joys and concerns from this week and from the week prior before we head into our morning prayer. Let us keep low in our prayers over the next four weeks as she enters into the CNA program at Manor Care. Let's ask for God's help to guide her, give her peace and confidence as she works to move forward in her career path. And Nathan is having eye surgery this Tuesday, July 14th. Both of his eyes need work, but they'll be done one at a time, and please pray that they'll make the right decision about which one to operate on first. Joyce requests prayers for Brandon, who is 34 years old. He's currently in intensive care with cellulitis from his ankle to his groin. Linda requests prayers for Charles, who has tongue cancer. For Laurie, who is in the hospital due to a bad reaction from a shingles shot. And please pray for Elise, who, is ha who has a pituitary tumor. She'll be seeing a specialist very soon. And a joy we want to report this morning. The Tissue family would like to share their joy. Madison and Joey are engaged to be married with plans for a wedding in July of 2021. And also Madison is moving this week to begin medical school at West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine in Lewisburg. So please pray for a smooth transition for her. Let's take a moment now and center our hearts and minds in silence. Let's pray together, then I'll lead us in prayer. Gracious God, with the quietness of the morning, we give you thanks for the beauty of a summer sunrise, for the opportunity to gather together, even though we're separate. You've given us much, and we are thankful. And Lord, we're also grateful that with what you've given us, you've, you've blessed us with the opportunity to bless others. Thank you for all that we've been able to do for one another during this time of coronavirus and uncertainty, economic uncertainty also. We pray too that you'll continue to give us eyes and ears to see and to hear where the needs are. And surely our hearts touched by you are ready to reach out wherever and whenever necessary. Lord, you heard the joys and the concerns from the congregation, and there are many more left unspoken from folks who are watching this morning. You're the one who said that the numbers of hairs on our heads are known and that not a sparrow falls without you knowing it. And so we trust and, and ask for your gracious guidance, for your accompaniment for all those who are struggling with ills, physical and otherwise. We pray for those two dealing with mental illnesses and problems. At this time, uh, when so much is unknown, it's easy for us to devolve into anxiety and fear. So we want to remember the words of the psalmist, be still and know that I am God. Lord, again, we thank you. We thank you that you've given us a church, you, a community, sisters and brothers. And we pray too that in the days to come, we'll be able to see uh, some of the beginnings of uh, something new, something different and something better. We pray it in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray saying, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 